Hi guys, putting here with the game for you in my tier 9 premium US battleship, the Missouri or the Money Train. Now, my captain skills are priority target, expert marksman because this is Steven Seagal, adrenaline rush, basics of survivability, superintendent, advanced fire and training, and of course concealment. Now my modules are protect my main batteries, longer shooting AA, American Dispersion, Damcom 1, Damcom 2, and of course more concealment. I prefer to go with a stealth build uh, slash AA build on my American battleships. Now as you can see we are on hotspot, we spawned by A, and you know, there's really only two of us at A, a Des Moines, myself, and I kind of put in chat, let's go BC. I don't want to play the hide behind the island at A game. There's a carrier in game, which means being able to stay moving is going to be a lot better. The other thing is, most of the ships are in better position to go into C than to traverse all the way to A. There's really only two of us. They have to make the long traverse in the open, the Des Moines and myself. Now, I'm going to assume that the Des Moines probably has some sort of concealment. I'm running concealment, so it's not going to be that difficult. But the other thing, uh, before we start getting hot and heavy in the action, this was, uh, this game took place prior to the smoke changes. The other thing is there was some micro stuttering uh, lag that I had to deal with throughout the duration of this game. Which is why I played a little bit more defensively than offensively. The other thing is the carrier makes me play a little bit more defensively. Now I don't necessarily want to take shots across the open here. But it's a broadside battleship. And I might as well take my chance. Because it doesn't take much to dodge any shells. You just have to do a little movement. And you should for the most part miss most of the big shells as you see as I shot and I immediately started turning in. I'm waiting to go off detection to readjust my course and continue on the way but of course I'm being spotted by aircraft. Now of course nobody's targeting me. The Iowa really didn't make any big movement so I might as well shoot again. As you can see I'm being uh, targeted at least by one ship and you know it keeps flickering so I'm not going to say it's a destroyer. I'm just going to assume it's, it's those battleships down there. And, you know, it, it is long-range shooting. So you will see a little bit more flickering of the targets than not. As targets of opportunity come up for them. Now I'm going to take a shot in at Baltimore. Because it's going to make life for our carrier happy. And it should make life for our destroyers happy. Now I'm paying attention to the island so I don't pull an answer because uh, I do have bad habits of running into islands a lot, not paying attention. And the warning system pretty much means, well, you're screwed. Uh, you re usually don't get ample time in relatively fast ships that you're going to run aground until it's too late. But as you can see, most of those shots kind of just, you know, they didn't do very much to me. A lot of bounces. Oh, but then again, I'm not 100% sure what they were. Might as well take a shot in on the Frederick because he is showing me sign. And, uh, you know, any damage done early is good damage. The more you can damage these guys earlier before you get into the brawls, the butter. I suspect this is the Minotaur that kept A that is shooting me. But as you can see, all the low... Oh, let's see. You can hear all the glorious bounces. So I really don't care. I see Destroyer. I want to take uh, take him out. I want to do uh, as much damage as possible to him. As 7,000 is quite nice. Because it helps my Destroyers win any gun battle. And it pretty much means that I won't get torped to death. Uh... Per se, you know, not paying attention. A, get rid of destroyers. You don't have to worry about being surprised. Uh, of course, once smoke shooting was a thing, you don't have to worry about battleships sitting in smoke either. But, uh, you know what? 
you deny the enemy vision, you de deny the enemy smoke. Because while there are, you know, with the smoke changes, battleships can't really take advantage of them offensively. They can still take advantage of them defensively. Now, I was going to shoot at the Bunsen, but I see people shooting at him. And I, I, I assume they were shooting at him, not the Edinburgh. But I want to take a shot in, at the cruiser because it's just a better target for me because at the end of the day I still get battleship dispersion now I'm holding my shot to see what exactly this guy does where he turns what's he gonna do is he gonna slow down is he gonna smoke is he gonna keep coming notice it's gonna keep coming and you know what bow on is not exactly the best for him but he does manage to get sideways a little bit to bounce one shell now I did run into our friendly Missouri. I wasn't paying attention. He wasn't paying attention. It doesn't matter. Just apologize. Move on. As the gentleman runs into a, another Missouri. So, we have an awful lot of radar, an awful lot of AA, and an awful lot of money-making ships all in one spot. Now, when I initially took these shots, I thought this was the Montana and not the Minotaur. Wasn't paying attention, and it bites me in the ass. And the reason for that is because I aimed directly at his bow, thinking it was the Montana, and the shots were going to go into the superstructure. As he turned sideways, I noticed the icon. And then, of course, what I'm going to notice is, where the hell did he go? Crap, that was the Minotaur. But the gentleman is still shooting. I have a very good idea of where he's at, but I'm going to take the blind shot in on him. I apologize for the puppy barking. Boom! Two Citadels, Devastating Strike, Goodbye, British Cruiser. I'm going to target the fighters to help our carrier out a little bit more. Uh, if there were attack craft coming in, I probably would at this point keep the fighters targeted. Because, like I said, there are two other U.S. battleships behind me. And I'm just going to assume one of them would have targeted the attack craft. I want to help out my carrier because I understand the pain of friendlies not helping you win the air battle. Apparently there is an evil leaf outside that is really upsetting the poor dog. Now, I hold my radar for just a brief moment to let this guy feel a little bit comfortable. I take my shot. I also slow down uh, because I don't want to come out of this... Uh, opening too soon for two reasons torpedoes and the Iowa there if I come out I will be broadside to that Iowa so what I want to do is slow play coming through this opening I want to get nosed in as much as possible to avoid uh, avoid avoid as many torpedoes as possible I'm also waiting for that guy's torps to come now I know it says that I'm going to hit the mountain, but I wasn't sure if it means my front guns, my back guns, so I shoot. I notice the back guns are the ones they hit, so the front guns are going to make it over. Going to take a shot at a broadside cruiser, and one shell hits, one sh or two shatters. Now I'm slowly reversing because I don't want to be... Uh, the biggest target I am angled uh, so I'm not too concerned but I'm also like I said still trying to slow play coming out of here now I do believe it was the uh, destroyer that ran across there so I'm like okay he must have sent his torps already now two battleships to shoot at the German I will not citadel but the Iowa I do have a chance to citadel so I'm going to take my shots in on him Boom! Lowered Citadel doesn't mean crap if you're still broadside as I get two of them and finish off this gentleman. I immediately select the destroyer for my secondaries. Might as well get any sort of bonus uh, that I can get because some bonus is better than no bonus. I'm paying attention to the Iowa a little bit. I'm looking at the minimap, but I notice the Iowa has bigger problems. I need to get rid of this guy because I don't want to deal with Torps. I know he's already dropped some. Yeah, we're just going to say that was a really good shot because I don't know what shall hit him. See the Montana? I noticed that he sh he's actively fighting the uh, Yamato to the north, so I don't 
look at him as a threat per se. Uh, I don't. I'm not worried about the Iowa either because, you know, that gentleman is dealing with two ships, uh, and this is where priority target comes into play. Now I'm going to make a mistake. I'm going to misjudge some things, but I do catch it. Uh, but I do catch it too late. I'm going to take a shot in at the Iowa. Oh, sorry about that, Sniffle, guys. Uh, I was hoping to catch this guy in a turn and get a Citadel, but unfortunately do not. Now, like I said, s smoke changes did not take effect during uh, this replay. I'm going to get a little pissed off with Destroyer, but I never say anything in chat. Because instead of this gentleman running forward, smoking up uh, both of us, or even saying anything, this guy runs forward because he sees the carrier, smokes up, and instead of shooting the carrier, shoots, or instead of shooting the cruiser, he shoots the carrier. Now, that's where my little mistake came into play, because I thought the Baltimore was targeting me, not the Montana, and I did get Citadel. Now, I am targeting the fighters over any strike craft, because, like I said, this DD kind of, you know, he didn't give me smoke when I was on the cap. He's not going to give me smoke here. He doesn't say anything. And he's going to slow down and smoke up within freaking Baltimore radar. So my attitude is, you get what you deserve for being stupid and selfish. Now, at the time, I should have taken a shot in on the Montana because that would have put me at kill number four. And I'm going to do something that most people were probably going to think is scummy. But this guy was playing selfishly. So, you know what? There's no point in me not uh, playing a little bit for myself. Number two, there's another battleship next to me as I take shots in on the Baltimore. Do a nice chunk of damage. The Fletcher, instead of shooting, decides to drop his torps. And these torps would have killed the Baltimore. But what they do is they force the Baltimore to run aground. He would have been hit by one of them. My guns are going to be reloaded. And I take the shot and steal the kill. Now, with... That death blow, if I would have killed the Montana, would have been a Kraken, but I really don't care about medals per se. I'm more concerned about getting the win uh, than getting any sort of medals. We're easily going to win this. We are never going to catch the Frederick because he's just going to run away. So now, guys, we're just going to go check out the post-battle results. 152,000 damage, Confederate devastating strike, four ships killed one assisted base cap number one on a team with the base experience of 2900 it was an exceptional day oh look the money train made money i know i'm sure you guys are just shocked and appalled 152,000 damage all of that from my main batteries my secondaries did shoot but didn't get any uh anything hits 1.7 million potential damage feel like i did a fairly good job there i hope you guys really did enjoy this replay uh don't forget uh i know i know that there are uh, clan battles on saturdays but if you still like to watch any supremacy league please check out c raptor saturdays at nine o'clock eastern uh time the link to his twitch channel will be in the description down below we do appreciate all the support that you guys do give us. We uh, we do love the replays you guys send in. The email is in the description down below. Please remember to compliment good teamwork, good team play. We are quick to report, slow to compliment. Please hit that like and subscribe button and have yourselves one heck of a great day.